Alright, so this will be a very short video since it seems I haven't posted anything in ages. Well, this is just an update on my current Linux setup. So, you see here, um, I've got two dimensional workspace management, which is definitely not something you'd expect, I guess. Um, using caps lock to switch between keyboard layouts, which is nice. And showing the um, active audio output card, although the volume listed is not correct. So, I'm using my trackpad right now to scroll between workspaces, and this is kind of a hybrid system. It's a mix of NixOS and Gen 2, which is uh, yeah, quite, it's just about as cursed as it looks. So if you look in user slash local bin at the moment, I've got a few things set up, and I know they shouldn't really be there, but that's just where I've put them since it was easiest. So, um, Chromium Nix, nothing too special. This lets me get VA API working, which is essential for game streaming. And since I'm on a laptop at the moment without game streaming, I'm kind of out of luck. Um, Discord just sets the DPI to something reasonable. And uh, Nix external, Nix run, that's where the interesting stuff comes in. So, Nix external is used to make sure that no Nix specific changes are used when running applications that are not from NixOS. And Nix run is the opposite. So, it doesn't have to mess with path because that's already managed by a um, Gen 2 package, but it does set LD library path and various graphics information like metadata storage paths so that it's able to find it. Uh, VA API was one of the more annoying things to get working until I realized that you just had to set some environment variables for it. And uh, OpenGL, people often say, doesn't work outside of NixOS, but in reality, all you need to do is uh, sets up these environment variables so that um, Mesa and libglnv, libglvnd, uh, that's quite a mouthful, uh, can find what they need. Um, Gnome theme as well was something rather difficult to set up, but it turns out you just need to set some environment variables so that non nix applications can figure out what's happening. I'm using um, fzf to do more searches and as an application launcher. If I hit tab, it will run the command as I've typed it in, in a shell. If I hit enter, it will run the command that it's found. So for example, if I want to run something like... Well, this is going to be a bit silly, but Nix external Firefox will run Firefox. If I hit tab, but if I hit enter, it will not because FZF was not able to find it. As such. Uh, anything else interesting? Well, we've got Steam working here. It was a bit of a pain to get that set up. You'll notice there's no clear command, and that's because ncursors, for whatever reason, is not compatible with Nix on Gen 2. It causes some unusual problems with the foot, which is my tablet. Um, yeah. So supposing I wanted to install something, let's say uh, Inkscape. What I would do is Nix external, Nix and minus i, Inkscape. And it will take a little bit but we'll install just fine. Now then, um, in terms of how we've got this working, so this system actually is running on Musolipsy, or Musolipsy, not sure how to pronounce, so it's a bit weirder even than you'd expect. As you can see. <laughs> but um, NixOS pretty much handles all the problems for me, and uh, has a nice libc based system for me. Now I've got Inkscape installed. Um, there we go. My FZF hasn't detected it yet because it still uses a cached um, list of programs. So EIX Nix. And as you can see we've got quite a few uh, packages installed but the most important one is sysapp slash nix which is from the Nix overlay. So, EIX. Bam. Put the latest version installed. And I'm using OpenRC, not SystemD. But to be honest, I kind of wish I were using SystemD, uh, because it would make things a little bit easier, as most of NixOS assumes that you're running a SystemD-based operating system. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. There's nothing too interesting going on here. The last thing I'll show you is the script I've been using for my two-dimensional workspaces. And I'm also using a Fusuma for um, 
for my um, trackpad gestures, and it's quite straightforward. The most difficult part about this was finding a way to um, encode the x and y values inside of a single number, which is the workspace. But if we do hyperctl workspace plus j, you'll see that uh, the numbers we see at the top of the screen don't really correlate at all with um, the numbers that Hyperland is seeing, which makes sense. I always miss clear, but can't have it. Yeah. That's just about all. I hope you found this interesting. I'm probably going to get flamed a bit because this is cursed, but that's alright.